I was rolling a shelf and I turned around and the shelf was like, and it was like over $3,000 worth of pottery that got crushed in seconds. I'm Benedict Leclerc. And I'm Jerome Leclerc. We're both uh, ceramicists and, uh, and co-owners of Limpatience. We're from France, we're from the Loire Valley, 200 miles south of Paris. And we met back in high school. Yep, 20, 20 years 20, ago. Yeah, 22 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> we both used to work in advertising before. I used to be an art director. And I was a producer. We graduated <laughs> in France, basically, and then we moved to Canada pretty yeah. quick. When you're in advertising, New York City is kind of the place to be. Like, yeah. there's not a few places that are big like that with like so many potential clients and creatives. The tougher thing about uh, advertising was the craziness uh, of it. It's just like always so fast paced. Working late every night, most weekends. The life work balance was just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was none. <laughs> I was full time for a company for 10 years and then I did a bunch of uh, freelance jobs. I've been mostly freelancing for over 10 years and a few full time jobs in between. We got into pottery in a kind of a funny way. He got me um, an intro to pottery wheel for Christmas, one class, yeah. and that blew my mind. The first class, like, I didn't do anything good, nothing that I could take out of the wheel. It was just horrible, but just the feeling of it. It was the first time I realized after that class that I had spent two hours without thinking about my work, like, and that hadn't happened in a very long time. Just like the, the therapeutic feel of pottery was just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she came back, she was like, you need to try pottery, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she had me take my first pottery class at the same studio. I didn't love it, to be honest, yeah. the first time, but uh, it's really hard the first time. You work really hard and nothing comes out of it mm. for two hours. <laughs> but then we bought a wheel at home. We created a small studio. Yeah, in the corner in of the our apartment. apartment. I took a first six weeks beginner's class mm -hmm. and whatever I was learning, the class I was like showing him. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing pottery just on weekends and, and nights and so it was like really just a, a side thing. Advertising was still taking a lot more. <laughs> well, it was our job and that it was, was like a hobby. Yeah. The pottery took a lot more um, time in our lives when we started to, um, to, de to decide to move upstate. I was pregnant, so it was a moment where we were trying to do a big change in our lives and how we can find a better work-life balance. I guess it was instinct, but we just went for it yeah. and our friends thought we were crazy. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The week before our son was born, um, on a just day trip to, to Hudson, we met with the owner of a flower shop in Hudson. As we were talking with her, I mentioned that we were doing pottery, and right away she asked to order some vases that we were doing. We were like, we're gonna have that baby first, <laughs> and then and then after, yeah, maybe we can we can start. And she gave us the the confidence that maybe our work might be interesting, and then. We reached out to a few shops and we got orders like right away and it's starting to snowball and we're like, okay, like that might be... Uh, That's nice yeah, the that... time to quit our job and yeah. just do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We started the company from our, our home. The orders became too big for the, the space we had, so we started to look for spaces and we eventually met our current landlord and um, he found us a tiny space in one of his buildings. We thought we were going to be there for a while, but very quickly this space became available. At first it was very scary for us, mm -hmm. going from a 100 square feet room in our home to a 3,000 3, square feet space. <laughs> Seeing the vision that he had for us, it made us feel a bit more confident. Starting the business, the cost that we had to prepare for were mostly like just getting a little bit of equipment. We already had a wheel from back when we were in Brooklyn, so getting a second wheel, mm -hmm. uh, getting our own kiln, and then just shelves and tools and everything. 
As we were getting more and more uh, orders, we had to increase the amount of equipment. So like getting more wheels, getting a second kiln. Now when we order uh, clay, we order it by the pallet. We had to buy some equipment to recycle the clay. Mm. And yeah, many, many shelves. <laughs> So when the pandemic happened, we just had started the business. Uh, yeah. So when March came, it was really scary. <laughs> Suddenly nothing for a month, full month. We both had just quit our jobs. But eventually they picked up the month after. And we've been actually really lucky with the pandemic because people were at home, so they wanted to furnish their homes. Some people bought homes upstate New York and they just wanted to like live in, some, in a nice place and just make it nicer. Our salary range uh, in our previous careers used to be between 100 and 150 mm -hmm. each. When we started, it was less than half of that. Most of the money we make is going back straight back to the business for now. Hopefully one day we can uh, like earn more like we used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our advertising we do ourselves. The, um, photos for now, the, the website. Unfortunately, we don't spend enough time doing no. it. We're like so focused on, on the, the production and on growing all of the, the, the different aspects of the, of the company that then we never have time to really mm -hmm. put all the efforts that we would like to put in. Our life has changed a lot in the way that we're doing the work-life balance. We're definitely working <laughs> even more than, than we were <laughs> back in the city, but also every day we want to be in the studio and so it doesn't feel like it's as much of a... Of a like a job, yeah. you know? it's more yeah. like a part of our life, yeah. kind of. We feel like, at the end of the day, exhausted, <laughs> but also very fulfilled because we've yeah. done so much and it's been amazing to see our company grow. When you're in the middle of it, it's just like, oh my God, it's crazy. You like, <laughs> feel like you're underwater, but then like seeing everything come out and new uh, products coming out and new uh, collaborations, uh, that is, yeah, mm -hmm. like very fulfilling yeah. and yeah. For sure, sometimes when it feels like we're like completely uh, overwhelmed by the amount of work and we start to like have doubts, are we going to be able to survive? Like financially, for sure, there's like some moments where it's it's a bit it's a bit scary. But every time, like we, I think we we'll try to uh, to keep uh, our mind on the big picture and to mm -hmm. see like everything that we have built building that company and every day like we feel happy coming here and mm -hmm. with everything that comes out of it. <laughs>